Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Lauren. If you like this vibe and you like the content, then I would love for you to subscribe. To all my returning subscribers, hello, welcome back. Thank you again, I love you all, you're the best. Today's video, I'm going to be doing an April kind of favorites, as well as show you some new items that I picked up in April that I am loving. It's a good blend and a good mix of different things. Typically, my uh, videos focus on luxury goods, so I do have some handbags that I wanna show you, but there's also some skincare, some shoes, some body stuff, so it's just a good, overall mix of things that I have been using and loving for the month of April. So let's start with the handbags first because that's generally what I'm most excited about and I have three handbags to show you. Two are from a brand that is fairly new to me. I actually had heard of this brand before they reached out to me. Um, I had followed them on Instagram because of Caitlin Carter. Uh, she had done a collab with them. If you watch sort of Laguna Beach, I guess the Hills mostly and the Hills reboot, then you probably know who Caitlin Carter is. She was married uh, to, Co uh, to Brody Jenner. So that's how I first sort of heard about this handbag just because, you know, you follow on all these different like kind of celebrity websites. Um, so she had done a collab with them. The brand in itself, uh, the name is Songma, which you might be able to sort of see right there on the hardware, or you can see it on the back here. You can see Songma. Uh, it's an Asian owned brand. Being of Asian descent, I'm half Chinese, half Filipino. I always love to support Asian owned brands, obviously. Um, so they have a couple of freestanding stores in Beijing, but they are branching out to North America with their online site. The bag that I've been using fairly consistently is this one here, and this is called the Reset Tofu Handbag, which I think the name is just so cute. Actually, the other name of the handbag is even cuter, the other one I'm going to show you, but I mean, I'm vegetarian. I love tofu and I like that they're also like paying homage to like the Asian culture and the Asian background of um, the creators of this handbag. So the inside is this navy blue calfskin leather and then, whoops, I have like some makeup stuff in there <laughs> because I've been using it and then that's just the dust bag it came with. So on the inside, there is also an interior pocket. It's lined here. I think it's with silk, if I'm correct. So it's this beautiful sort of like butterfly pattern that they have inside. So there's a zipper compartment there. It opens up and then there's another compartment on the inside here, which is amazing. And then on the back, there is also another magnetic compartment and it's lined again. The price point of this is also amazing. It is $278 US, so under $300 for an all leather handbag that just has so many details and it's just so beautiful. I forgot like even the little, like I think they're called rivets. They have the name and the branding and everything on it. So I think it's just a really nice handbag that's also very minimal and that is just such a classic shape. So I feel like you can't go wrong with this handbag. It's just, it's stunning. So definitely check it out. So here's the Tofu a Reset Bag. I am 5'5 five five for a reference. I do have it on a fairly high setting because I like to wear my handbags higher up, but you can see it just looks so cool with even something like this, like an edgier sort of outfit with a leather jean jacket. We could also definitely dress it up too. I just think it's just such a classic shape and it's a really good size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's not really bulky. It's not going to like hit against anything and bump against anything again the way it's just such a beautiful handbag so this is called the mini wonton bag how cute is this so it comes in different sizes i of course had to choose the mini this is in the color white but it's more of a cream color so it opens up the same way like this so and this is also kind of like that puffy sort of leather that's very on trend. Let me take out the dust bag. So the inside here has some card slots. And again, it does fit my phone in case you're wondering. So there's my phone inside of it. And then it has a middle compartment that you can slip things in. And then it also has a back compartment that you can put things in. So you can decide whether you want to have it open like this on the side and have just some more room or you can close it up and then you just get more of like that kind of structured handbag look. So you can either wear it crossbody like how I've been wearing it or if you pull up that handle now 
you have a shoulder bag and like I said I will show you sort of some modeling shots with it but again this is just such a cute little handbag it comes in so many different colors I know they have like a beautiful lilac color and a mint color as well the price point of this one is really good for the mini wonton the mini wonton like that name first of all is just so cute is 168 dollars us so here it is as a crossbody bag now i love how high it hits up because again i like my bags to hit higher up next handbag is my new work bag i've been using and that is the longchamp le pliage backpack a couple of videos ago i had showed this i unboxed it i've been using it pretty consistently i do really like it it holds everything i've taken my work laptop home a couple of times during report cards um, and it fits in here and that's like a macbook air so it's 13 inches so it's just super light nice and compact um i just love the black on black leather so i've been using this one quite a bit let's move on to skincare and body care next so i have a new skincare product to show you i take my skincare very seriously um, in my older age now, but I religiously use sunscreen, vitamin A, or like retinol, and vitamin C, um, and lots of different sort of toners, essences, things like that. I just, I have very dry skin. Um, I've had it since I was very young. I also have um, not necessarily sensitive skin, um, but I do have eczema on my body, but I recently got a new essence. So this is by the brand. It's a Korean brand, so it's K-Beauty. I have tried some K-Beauty. I've tried like the Dear Claire's. I've tried Cosrx. Um, there's another brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll put it here, that I really like their essence toner by. Um, but this one is, I think it's pronounced Tongimbi. Tongimbi? Um, if you are Korean or you're familiar with the language, please let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but it is the Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence. So fun fact, my background is in food and nutrition. During my fourth year of university, I took a functional foods and nutraceuticals class. And my final research paper of that class was on um, Panax Ginseng, which is like the Asian ginseng, and um, ginsenocides. So I was looking at the benefits to, um, you know, oral consumption of ginseng and their antioxidants, uh, antioxidant capabilities. And, you know, I learned a lot during that class. So I'm decently familiar with ginseng in general, but I have never applied it topically. So this one is different. The red ginseng, I believe, is grown for about six years. And then in here itself, there is the ginseng water, there is the ginseng concentrate, and then the ginseng oil. So this, like I said, is an essence. The packaging is also beautiful, which I know like you don't necessarily need to pay for the packaging, but it's beautiful. So it's a little bit thicker than I would say, I don't want to waste it, but I want to show you, than typical um, essences that I use. This one is almost serum-like, as you can see there. It's just this sort of clear color and it blends in, or it, yeah, is that the word? Blends in really nicely. It's smooth. It does have that initial herbal sort of medicinal smell to it. I'm very used to it because ginseng has been used in a lot of like Asian medicine and I've had to have it in the past, um, like when you're sick or feeling fatigued, but it absorbs very, very quickly. It's not sticky. That initial ginseng type or herbal smell dissipates almost instantly. It's crazy. Every time I put it onto my skin, I can smell it, but as soon as I rub it in, it's gone. So now it's completely gone um but if you are more in you know into skincare to get that sort of sensorial is that the word sensorial type of feeling please note you will get it but it disappears pretty quickly for me i've been using this now for four weeks which is like a decent time i guess mostly i like to try products for about two to three months before I can kind of give like a final opinion on it. And that's generally when I use up a product too. But I've been using this for four weeks and I really have seen a difference in my skin barrier. Um, so <clears throat> because I am a teacher and I wear a mask all day, I tend to get like really dry and flaky around my nose and my mouth and even my cheeks would begin to get really flaky. 
but since I've been using this it's really helped with just kind of keeping the hydration in and I think really like strengthening my actual skin barrier I actually was out the other day I quickly ran in to grab something um, at the market and the two ladies that were in there were just like <laughs> they were like that they did that and, they just, and then the one girl was like I have to say that your skin is glowing like your skin is beautiful and I played it off I was like oh it's the makeup and she's like no you have to have a good canvas to begin with so um, I don't know if it's necessarily from this, but this does give kind of like that instant kind of glow to the skin. You can kind of see between the two. It's just hydrated. It's very smooth. It's very soft. Like I said, it's not tacky. So I've really been enjoying using this. And I do think that the benefits to ginseng are um, not only good for you to take orally, but also topically on your skin. So it says it's going to help with improving um, skin density, firming the anti-aging effect, and then strengthening skin barrier, and immediately boosting the skin radiance. So I would say the skin radiance as well as the skin barrier is what I have seen the most with using this product. You can actually get this on Amazon now too. I will link it down below. Prior to that, you could only get it on like Yes Style and Style Vada, and it was a little bit um, harder to get like some, most K-Beauty was a little bit harder to get, but now I find that they're much more accessible. So um, I will definitely be checking out more from this brand. So I really appreciate them sending me this essence to try out because like I said, I have been using it for four weeks and I've been enjoying it. The other kind of body care um, product that I want to show you is by Sage. And I feel like I might be kind of like getting into that hippy dippy sort of lifestyle because it is essential. They are essential oils. But let me tell you, this has been a savior for me. So this is the pocket pharmacy. This retails for I think $68 Canadian, but it's about $100 um, retail value. And it just has different roll ons for sort of different ailments. So the peppermint halo I this is my second one I have another one in my mini pochette here um, and then immune eaters digest stress release and pain release I also have the pain release another one of these by my bedside and it's been amazing I also have another one by them that's arnica that helps with like bruising and muscle soreness and I never ever believed in essential oils and I'm still like somewhat hesitant but this is registered as a Nash like a natural health product here in Canada um, but I have found that the pain release really helps. The peppermint halo I got into because my massage therapist uses it at the end and it really is so relaxing so I love that. And then the Eater's Digest has been amazing. So the other day I was bloaty at work after I ate and so I rubbed this on my belly which seems strange. Again I just... I. I'm still hesitant in recommending this, but it worked for me. So I'm gonna say that even though it's applied sort of topically, somehow, I don't know if it's just in smelling it or what it does, but this helped with my bloatiness and helped with my cramping. So there's amazing reviews online, check it out. I mean, do your own research, but I actually really like this um, Sage Pocket Pharmacy, so would recommend that and make a good Mother's Day gift. Actually, I bought this for my mom for Mother's Day as what well, part of her present. So she doesn't watch my channel, so I can say that. The camera just died on me, and um, I was waiting for it to charge, and I ate a piece of pizza, so hopefully I have no food on my mouth. But um, I'm just gonna film the rest on my phone and hope that it's okay. I think I'm looking at the right spot if I look here, but I was talking to you about the New Balance 530s. These are amazing. I have it in the blue, which is kind of like, I don't want to say it's like the original color, but I feel like that's the color that made them really popular. And they came out with the green and you know, I've been loving a green lately. So I picked these ones up. I did pick these up in a size larger. So I did a 38 and a half, um, European. I generally go with a 38, but this is a size six men's which translates to a seven and a half women which i generally am a seven and a half i would say now in runners so i really or sneakers so i really like these they go with everything they're so comfortable they're so light if you like the whole dad shoe trend i would definitely suggest to get these these are currently sold out i got them on aritzia when they dropped right away 
Um, and then my student who works at Little Burgundy was saying that they're also sold out at Little Burgundy, so they might be harder to find. They're sold out on Essence as well. So if they do a restock, definitely sort of sign up for updates on them because they are amazing. And the price point on these aren't so bad. I think these are around $130. So for a pair of runners that are on trend, but also comfy, I feel like that's a pretty good price. So the last pair of shoes I have to show you are these ones here, which are by Birkenstock. And I always swore I'd never get a pair of Birkenstock. And now here I am with these. I always swore I'd never find the healing properties of essential oils. And look at me now. Um, but these are the Boston Clogs, and I got mine in the vegan version. Um, I wore them out very briefly, so I'm not touching the bottom, um, just to run a couple of errands, and I already got a little bit of scuff marks on them, so I feel, well, I can barely see it. I feel like you're gonna have to be a little bit careful if you decide to go with the white um, as opposed to the black, but I just bought the white because I thought it would be cute for the summer with like rolled up um, mom jeans or like loose jeans and then wearing them obviously with denim shorts. Uh, when I'm fairly tan in the summer, I find white looks really sort of nice on my skin tone. So these, um, like I mentioned, are the vegan version. So this is made from a synthetic leather that makes them a lot lighter, um, but as well, they won't stretch out, I don't think. So if you are thinking about stretching them out, um, I don't think these will. So I'm really excited to wear these more. I just know I have to be a little bit careful and less clumsy when I'm wearing this because again, they are sort of that white synthetic leather. So hopefully they clean easy as well, but I'm really happy for these, they're cute. And that is it. Those are all the items that I've been loving in the month of April. I will link everything down below. Again, thank you so much for all the love and support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.